Hello and welcome to another Coric training video. I'm Fran Mullally and today we're going to look at sections in Trimble Business Centre. Okay, so to do sections in Trimble Business Centre you will need an advanced license because sections are part of the drafting module. In this video I use a prepare template or .vcl file that generates a profile or long section and then cross sections off that lock section. Uh, this is something I've prepared to keep the steps kind of easy um, so that you generate kind of a simple um, profile and cross sections. If you want a copy of this uh, VCL template, by all means, please contact support or at coricgroup.com and I'll email it to you. Um, again, I'm just going to try and keep the steps easy and straightforward. I feel that if you get these steps, um, you understand these steps, then it is easier then later on to play around with the settings in TBC and maybe customize the sections to what you require. Okay so I'm not going to use too many files here today we have the section template I just mentioned we have a very simple surface that I'm going to use so you can use any surface that you have created in Trimble Business Center in this case I have a simple surface and then I exported it to a TTM Trimble Triangulate model uh, file just to bring it in um, as part of the session and we may at the end just bring in the Corec uh, feature library just to show you how you can use your feature library to have more um, textiles and layers available to you. Okay, so I'm just going to launch Trimble Business Center and I am going to make a new project with a blank template. Okay, and then I'm going to drag in the section template file.vcl that I mentioned earlier. As I say, if you want this, just email support iricoregroup.com. And you see, once I bring this in, it creates a plan set okay so sectioning in Trimble Business Center is kind of connected to the drafting uh, module and in here you can see that it's created a plan set I've called this correct section and I have a template for a long section and a template for a cross section okay so next thing I'm going to need to bring in my surface file so I'll just minimize this again and drag in my template surface just give you a look at what we're dealing with. If I go to my 3D view, rotate around, it's just a simple stockpile surface. Okay, and if I go in here into my surfaces tab, I can use my surface slicer view and again just give you an idea what it's like. Okay, so unfortunately, you can't uh, generate sections from the surface slicer, which would be handy. We have to go through a few extra steps. So, the first step is that you actually have to create a corridor. Um, and from this corridor then we generate the sections. So the first step is I'm going to go to my CAD tab, line string, and I'm going to create a line string. So I'm just going to call this section and in this case I'm just going to use zero layer etc and just say OK. Now if you have a survey line already you can use that. If you have a CAD line that you've generated already, a design file, anything like that, you can use any line you want to generate the section uh, once it's imported into TBC. So I'm just going to use my snap tools here, click on one side of the surface and the other, and then I'm just going to close. That's my line string made. Okay, next step is I have to turn that line string into an alignment. To do that, I go into my corridors tab, create alignment, and again, I'm just going to call this section, and I'm happy to keep it on the zero layer. I'm going to use this facility here, use an existing line. I already have this line selected. If you didn't, click in the box and select the line and I'm just going to say OK and what that opens up then it just shows you the horizontal and vertical geometry of the line so I can see my zero change my EC nord and my end change etc and the same the vertical geometry here uh, I can just close that because I'm just mo moving through the steps the next step is to create corridor create corridor again I'm just going to call it section and you can see that it's automatically picked up um, my um, alignment for the horizontal and vertical alignment. Okay, here in original ground is where you pick the surface you want to use. I call this surface that I'm using here today template, so I just select that. Obviously any surface that you have created in Trimble Business Center can be selected here. So select that as your original ground. If you had a second surface, you could click it here, all the other reference surfaces. That's not covered here at the moment, but if you need information on that, please just contact Corex Support. So I'm going to say OK and then it asks me a star change. Obviously if you didn't want to start at zero change you could put in whatever change along the line you wish to start. I'm just going to say zero and close 
After those steps, you see on the left hand side now, I have a, the alignment and I have a corridor. Okay, so now that we have our corridor, we need to edit our long section template. So again, I've before I've explained this here, my plan set, I'm going to click on my long section template, I'm going to right click and say edit. So what we're going to do here is define the settings as we want to see them before we export to CAD, before we actually build the sheet. So this opens your settings down below and by default I have this set to an A0 size so that it can take kind of larger sections but you can of course play around with the paper width here you can play around with the plottable area size play around with those settings and when you have them the way they want them you can actually export a new VCL or you could save the project as a, a template so if we go down to sheet layout um, again like things like the vertical exaggeration is by default set to 1 if I click in here you can see it's flatter at 2 I'll go back to 2 again um, and one I do like actually here is if you go in here you can hit uh, plan above and it will actually put the plan above on the sheet above the um, section itself so I'll turn that off for the minute so again as I said once you're familiar with the basic steps um, it's easier to go in around here and play with this um, to define and configure it to the way you want it for your own export so I'm going to go down here there's a couple of things you do have to do you have to go down to surfaces and make sure that the surface you want is ticked here but then you will always have to go down to the profile table in the profile table it's you have to click here on line work nodes and click your surface name mine is called template as you know and once I do I get my drop downs at the triangle locations it is possible if you wish I can turn this off again and I can use drop downs at a regular interval so if I want them here I can just drop down at whatever regular interval I want so say every 10 meters there's your grid at every 10 meters so up to yourself what you want to do either click on the surface for the nodes or you can use a regular interval um, what you will always need to do as well is if I expand the profile table and go to rows um, it is the case that it will nearly always pick up on the chainage uh, values automatically the template should but you will need to usually to go into elevation here and specify the name of your surface because mine here as you can see is set to template that's because of the way I defined the VCL I use the surface called template your surface might have a different name so you will need to edit this so go into the three dots and what you can do is remove the existing definition tag what do I want to see I want to see elevation but you have to nominate your own surface here so mine is called template yours might be called something else and then I click add and OK and that then will generate your elevation values here okay um, if you're happy then with everything you're ready to export this to CAD um, so I'm just going to pull down this and what you can do is you can't actually select this to send it to CAD yet all we've really been doing is editing the sheet set so to do that you have to right click on long section here and say build sheets then you see you get an extra drop down here but to visualize that you have to right click and say new sheet view this opens my section up and now at this stage I can just select either everything if I want or if I just want to send the section out itself whatever I want to select and to send that to CAD export DWG exporter and export in the usual way okay so let's have a look at the sections cross sections so very similar process right click edit first to define it that will open your settings view down here again you'll have more or less the usual suspects that you'd expect to have chainage offset and like before you do have to set the elevation um, so we're going to go down here first of all we're going to go to surfaces make sure that our surface is clicked then we're going to go down to our cross section table expand that go to rows and again just like we do with the long section click on elevation so over and we're going to click on the three dots uh, remove the old definition that's coming from the template click tag elevation pick your surface name and add OK once you do you probably saw it there take effect on the sheet okay again just to show you I did mention earlier 
you see here I have a textile defined in my template and layer if you want a very quick way obviously if you want you can go to new and create your own textile here okay on layer is the same new layer another way of doing the same thing uh, is to import your feature library so if I just drag my Coric FXL in here you'll see it appear on the left hand side here in my project explorer my FXL and once you do that then in your textiles here you have the textiles that are available in your feature library and the same your layers come through uh, another way of doing the same thing would be if you had a CAD drawing that has your layers and textiles on it you can import this here into the business center project and again you'll have all those textiles and layers available to you okay so just like the long section once you have that done with your cross sections it's time to right click and say build sheets and in this case it's build a number of sheets and then just as we did before new sheet view and then you can export to CAD okay so just want to say thank you for joining me for this video um, if you need any other information in relation to sections in Trimble Business Center or Trimble Business Center or any Coric product please get in touch with Coric uh, support email is coricr at coricgroup.com you can also get some of our videos on YouTube just google Coric training and support thank you